Okay, we're at the visitor center. Um, we're at the very front. And what we're gonna change here, we're gonna enlarge this uh, entrance and we're gonna put a sign up there and we have a special name for this place. Uh, we'll surprise everybody. And then we're gonna expand the entrance here. So when you walk in, the foyer area will be a little bigger and these doors won't be there anymore. We're gonna shut this off and put a wall there so that people will have to go to the left, which will enter into a mini theater, which will show a film that we'll make, explaining the history and the research of the site from 1959 onward. Um, and then over here, people can use, this will be the doors to the, the new restrooms. We have to fix these. These are our problem. And so let me show you what we need to do in the restrooms. Okay, so we're entering in the restroom. Right now, the women's restroom is a lot smaller than the men's. We're gonna change that around. But basically, you can see everything's not kept. And only one bathroom here, and so this sign says use the other toilet. Only one has running water. Um, and uh, everything's run down and a mess. And the men's bathroom is worse. You hear that water, that's not somebody in here, that's the water main here broken. You can see all the water that's going out on the floor. So yeah, we have problems there. This toilet's not even installed. This one is clogged and doesn't work. So the restrooms will be, has to be 100% redone. That's one of the main things we gotta do first because obviously the tourist needs, needs that. Um, we're gonna put a door right through here so you can go to the restroom from the museum besides the front entrance. So we'll have two places. And in Turkey, they do charge you know, a lira, two lira for using the restroom. Then anyway, we're back in the foyer. So again, these front doors will be gone and they can either go to the restroom or go to the left and go to the, the theater. Okay, I'm in the main area of the building, but this is that side area that we're gonna expand outward and also to the right, we're gonna expand. This will become the new uh, mini theater that will show the film about uh, the history of Noah's Ark. And hopefully we'll get permission from Jim Sertison so that we can show his film once or twice a day. It's a 30 minute film, but we'll show tour groups also uh, like a five or 10 minute introduction film about the site in different languages. And so we're gonna, um, as you saw from the 3D design, we're gonna expand this out. And over here, what we don't show um, in the 3D is that this will become not just a storage area, we're gonna expand that wall out and make this the kitchen. So I'm walking over here. This is the outside. We're gonna expand that almost all the way to the end of the uh, patio and make that a living quarters and kitchen for the cafe and for Nuri because he will, him and her son, or his sons will be on site at night for security. So now after the film, they'll come through this area, which as you can see, it's just a window, but we're gonna turn that into double doors. And so after the film, they'll come walking out into the main um, area of the museum. And this, when they come out, you can see it's a, you know, it has a high ceiling and a, um, an area where the sun comes down. Uh, so whatever you call it, I can't even think right now. But um, the posters, the big uh, posters explaining about the site, the history, the geology, um, the archeology, span uh, the religious text about it will be hanging from here. Um, and so it'd be like a semicircle, these posters. And along the sides of the walls will be uh, display cases where fossils will be on display, um, literature about the site. We'll have a history uh, against this back wall with the TV monitor showing uh, people uh, what has been in the news about this site and all the printed either magazines or books that have been written. We'll have copies laying around there and magazine articles and newspaper clippings. And then all the way around the site here um, for the whole building will be the display cases. Now we're gonna take off the bars for these windows so it's not like you're in a cage and we're gonna replace the windows with thicker windows so the kids can't break it. And so the bars will be gone and it'll look amazing. I've seen it without the, the bars and it's a great view down to the arc site. You can kind of see it right now. You can see right now um, the glass here 
um, where the kids have broken this one window pane already. Um, and plus the ceiling, when we pan up to the ceiling, uh, it leaks in the rainstorms. And so the wood floor is a mess right there. So there's a lot of work we need to do to that. We're gonna install security cameras. We're gonna have a webcam set up, um, cause we'll have um, Wi-Fi here. And um, the webcam will be a live camera on our website, so you can see the ark. We'll have, maybe have a couple of views of the ark and also of Mount Ararat. So, um, so that'll be a, something exclusive we'll have on our uh, website. Um, let's see what else we're going to do. Okay, so when you um, over here, we'll end it after they've done with the little museum tour. They'll have books and such they can purchase, brochures, DVDs. I don't know, stuffed animals, whatever, something local from the area. And then um, they can pay for it here and go out. And I'll show you what we'll do on the outside. Now in the middle of this uh, circle, this is the octagon building, but in the middle of, the, of this, we're going to put uh, a scale model of the Drupanar site. So you'll see the boat formation here. Uh, and, uh, and the posters will be all the way around here, hanging from the ceiling. And then over against this wall will be the entrance to the restrooms, the new entrance we're making. And then this is the current main entrance, and that will be closed. Uh, this will be the wall there. And then this will be the exit from the mini theater. So now we're going to go outside, and I'll show you what we're doing outside. So as you're walking through the door, here's the outside. So you can see it has a nice patio with um, full-grown trees. Um, it's not really landscaped out here, but one thing we're going to do, we're going to create um, paths where people can walk, um, obviously put in better handicap access with ramps. Um, and then a little viewing platform out here. Um, nothing big. I mean, we just want them to enjoy the view without seeing any uh, man-made stuff around. But if you, as, you, as you go down over here and see the arc, you can see on that, there's a rock outcrop right there that's sticking out. And so we have permission now from Nuri, who owns all this land around here, him and his brother. Oh, you see a rabbit. You see that? Let me zoom in. It's right through in the middle of the screen. It's looking at me and it stopped. It looked like a rock. Anyways, but uh, I got ADD. Rabbit. Anyways, um, the path will start over there and it'll go along the edge of his property and it'll go out to a viewing deck. You see the rabbit running. But we go out to a viewing deck on that rock outcrop and we'll also have then paths down through the muddy field and the, the, terrain, the rough terrain of the mud flow down into those trees where we'll have benches and viewing areas where they can um, um, sit or stand and look at the western side of the boat formation. Um, that's phase one. Phase two, we'll have the path continue to go around the boat. So we'll cross the ravine, we'll put a bridge there. Um, and then we'll have uh, a path to go around the object so that they can't walk on it. Okay, that's one of the things the Turkish scientists would like to do is preserve the site. And that means keeping the sheep off and keeping people off. Um, but the path won't be, um, like it won't ruin the view. You will have uh, a, a nice path that's low um, profile. Uh, we'll have a wooden raised path through the terrain here, but over around the arc, um, we'll make sure it fits the view and, and blends in well. Um, and then that's phase two, and that will include a path that goes all the way up this, the hill here. So those who want to do a little hike, they can come up the hill and see those rocks down there. There'll be some viewing platforms on that rock and benches, and then there'll be another one. The path will keep going up this hill. There'll be another viewing platform with benches uh, with outside um, signage explaining what they're looking at in different languages with, you know, arrows and graphics on the top of this hill. People like walking down here to take a photo of the Ark and, um, and also a photo of Aradal, Mount Ararat. And so this spot here, we'll put some, uh, a viewing platform, a pretty big one, because most people, I mean, not everyone will go down to the Ark site. And so we'll, we'll keep this as a big platform here and then get their selfies and do their videos from here and see the Ark. And you can see we're just right below the hilltop where the visitor center is at. And I'll talk about this place next, right here. So in 2017, when they renovated this place, remember this place was built, um, the visitor center was built in 1987. And then it, you know, just kind of became 
um, decayed and whatever. I mean, no one, it needed to be renovated. No one had taken care of it. A couple times, uh, Sapphira had had it repainted. But in 2017, when they renovated it, they also put in this playground platform, but nothing was done with it. So we're thinking of turning this into, uh, for the cafe, um, because the kitchen's gonna be right up there. And so the, there's actually a, a path in the steps right down there. And I'll take you to here. People can have chai, uh, cold drinks, maybe later hot food, but uh, they can just relax here and look at the ark. Uh, not the ark, you look at air at. You can't see, sadly, where they put this, you can't see the ark. So from this one, it'll just be, you know, look down at the valley, the lava beds, um, and Mount Ararat. Now, phase three of the path as we're building is going to include a path on the outside of that road, kind of below it, not beside the road, but below it. It's, that path is going to go all the way down to that corner. Now, that's a great photo of the visitor center and the arc site down of, at the corner of the road where the road turns. And uh, we'll have a path that will extend down to there. And so people can walk down to there and get another photo. Um, and then phase three also, that's the uh, red in the uh, diagram map. Well, we'll see if we can get permission, but we're thinking of putting a, a longer path that go up the side of that hill. And at the very top of it will be a viewing platform. And there's a famous photo of Ron that he took from the top there. And he drew on this photo where he uh, believed the original landing site was, which is just straight up the, over there by the Iranian border. And so it's a great vantage point. You don't really see the arc site because the arc is angled towards us in the mud flow, towards the west and the visitor center. Uh, from the east side, because it's angled that way, you see the side of the, the eastern side of the boat formation, but you don't really see the boat formation itself, the full thing. Uh, but for those who really want to um, see every angle of the arc and hike on a path, then we're going to um, hopefully provide uh, a way to get to the top of that hill easily. So that will be uh, that. And then one, a plan. We don't know if this will work out yet, but we have had discussions with locals about and the authorities about putting uh, uh, one of the anchor stones here. And there's many in our zap. Um, I don't know which one it would be, but we'd put one of the anchor stones or two here and um, put a, like a little a barrier around it, a fence, and people can get photos of it for those who don't know how to get to our zap or can't make it all the way over there they can see one of the drogue stones here and so and then this will be all nicely landscaped um, and then we're going to end it showing you the outside where we're going to exp expand the building for the uh, kitchen and the theater so again we'll put in uh, steps here so you can and ramps so those with those who everyone can have access to that um, and so I'll show you this area next so right here is the side of the building, but we're going to expand this whole side out so that this side here is a full-scale kitchen plus living quarters for uh, Nuri so that he can uh, watch the site at night. We'll have, you know, artifacts and multimedia equipment in here and souvenirs for the tourists so we don't want someone to break in. And this is the backside of the theater. And this is where we're going to expand this out so the theater has more seating and maybe angle it so it is a, a semi-amphitheater by digging this a little deeper right here. It can be a little lower and then higher at the back side of the theater. And so, yeah, this is the plan. And we're also going to pave this road. This gets really muddy in the winter and the springtime. So we'll get this paved. And we will also replace this sign. This is probably one of the first things. We'll redo it with the permission after we get everything set up. See right now it's um, been vandalized and it's actually a new sign compared to what they had before. So um, anyways, we'll get this fixed up. And then here is the start of the path for phase one that will walk, let people walk all the way down through there. You saw in the other video and let you see the arc from that rock outcrop.